Hi, so you've just had your brace put on today. So I'm just going to go through some instructions, how to look after it and what to expect. Okay. okay. Um, this is what the brace looks like. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on the inside there. Okay. So you can see. So you've just got the lower oh, put on today. Okay. It is actually going to take you longer to clean it now, okay, because there's a few more nooks and crannies there. So in the pack that we give you, there's a little timer here, okay, so that's about two, t two minutes on there, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to take you about five minutes to give it a good clean, okay. okay. We give you actually a mouth rinse to take with you, okay, and a toothpaste as well. You don't need to use this brand. Anything with fluoride in is fine. Okay. okay. We recommend that you use the mouth rinse twice a day, but use it at a different time to toothbrush in. Okay. okay. So when you come in from work, just give your mouth a rinse round. Gotcha. Um, this means then you're getting fluoride constantly throughout the day then. Oh, okay. okay. Great. Um, do you use electric toothbrush or do you use a manual? Uh, I have, do have an electric toothbrush. Yes. Okay, so that's fine. You can use an electric one. The pack does come with a manual one as well, so whatever one you prefer to use. Okay. So, okay. so you just need to, as normal, brush around the gum margin at the front there and the biting surfaces, okay? The same with the, your electric. And then you get to the inside bit, okay? Mm -hmm. So you need to not only brush the bracket, but make sure you're angling the bristles or the brush, electric or manual, in towards this gum margin here, okay? okay? If you miss this area, the gum gets very inflamed and red and it starts to grow down towards this bracket. Um, and then it makes it very hard for us to change the wire, do adjustments, okay? okay. Um, if it does start to bleed a little bit, it just means it's a warning sign. You just miss in that yep. area. Yep. So just give it a little bit more of attention there with your toothbrush, okay? Okay, okay. perfect, um, sounds good. What do you use in between the teeth at the moment? Do you use floss? Floss. Oh, floss? Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously the floss will, is okay going down at the back, but it won't go down at the front. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you need to do, even like with this little toothbrush here, it just goes in between, okay, at the front. Mm -hmm. um, or you can use super floss where you just thread it through, do that section and just pull it out. Okay. okay. You also need to use underneath the wire here as well. Okay. So go around each section. As you can see, it's going to take you a little longer to clean. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And that comes in the pack too? This all comes in the pack. Okay. Um, you have got a, a single toothed toothbrush here and that's like if you want to get a bit further back it's a bit more, if you choke a bit, a bit just a bit easier for you to use. Just whatever you prefer to use really. Okay. Also you, that comes in the pack is disclosing tablets. Have you used them before? I have not, no. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you brush your teeth, okay, you take one of the tablets, you chew it up like food, swish it around. Okay, where the colour is, it just indicates you where you're not cleaning properly. Oh, that's okay, interesting. and then you just need to brush it off, so it's just okay. an indicator. Okay, the darker the colour, the longer it has been there. The plaque, okay. Oh, okay. Um, if you put some Vaseline on your lips because it will stain your lips mm. and it will stain your tongue, so don't use it just okay. before you're about to go out use somewhere. It for Halloween, yeah. Time, yeah. <laughs> um, just use it about once every two weeks. If you find you're getting a lot of colour, then you need to come, use it more often, so use it once a week, okay. 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 Um, you need to cut back on your sugar intake and your fizzy drinks. We prefer if you didn't, but obviously if you need to, cut it down, okay? okay. If you're going to have things like that, have it with a meal time, sugary mm -hmm. sweets and stuff, because then your acid level stays um, constantly neutral throughout the day. Then you just have a, a, pie, a peak when it comes to your meal times, okay. okay? Okay. But if you can cut it out, that's best, okay? okay. No hard foods, no sticky food, okay? Mm -hmm. No toffees, chewing gums. French bread, crusty rolls, okay? okay? Anything like an apple, you can't bite into it. You need to cut it into small pieces and just use your back teeth, okay? okay. Um, what to expect as well in the next couple of days, um, we already talked about the lisp. Um, it varies on everybody. Some people get it quite bad, some people don't, okay? It just depends on you, but we just recommend you just read aloud and then it goes in one week, two weeks. It just depends on you, okay? okay. Perfect. Um, the other thing as well you might find um, that it might rub Okay, mm -hmm. now if that does happen, what you need to do, you'll go, oh, it's just that little bit just there, just catching. So dry the area with the tissue, and then you just take a little bit of the wax, okay, it's just like Play Doh. Ah, okay. Okay, and then you just, you just roll it up like that, in a little ball, and you just put it on the area that's rubbing, okay, just acts like a cushion. Perfect. Okay. Um, basically, the fibres in the mouth will just toughen up, and then you won't even know that it's there. Okay, like a okay. new pair of shoes. Okay. Okay. Got to break them in. You got to break them in. <laughs> <laughs> you might find as well 
that today and tomorrow you might just have to have soft food like rice on pasta okay, okay. Um, and also as well you might find with the teeth starting to move they might be a bit achy so just take whatever you take for a headache okay, okay. and after adjustments as well you might find then that it might be a bit achy it just okay. means the teeth are moving so don't worry okay yeah. If anything does come off the brace, okay, it does happen sometimes, you might bite into something hard. One of these brackets here, if it, normally it just stays on the wire, but if it does come attached to, from the wire, just keep hold of it and actually bring it back with you because we can actually re-cement it back in, okay? Because okay. um, otherwise we have to get it specially made for you again, okay? Gotcha. Um, again, if you find that there's a wire sticking out the back, mm -hmm. just give us a phone call. The teeth move and then you just get a little bit of excess wire on the back. Gotcha. Just give us a phone call, okay. okay? We're always at the end of a phone call, so any problems, don't hesitate. Just give us a call, Perfect. okay? And okay. also in the next couple of days, if it does, does rub, Stefan's got little tricks that he can do to make it more comfortable. Don't you know keep okay. going just give us a call and sure. let us know okay. um basically you need to keep going to your dentist every six months for regular checkups because mm -hmm. we don't do that side of it okay. and also go and see your hygienist every three months just to keep on top of all the clean in there okay. okay um stefan normally he tells you before you leave as to when he needs to see you again and he sure. likes to see you regularly because then he likes to know how you're doing and if there's anything he can do for you you know so it's normally anything from two weeks up to sort of four weeks he sort of says for you to come back okay, okay. perfect so well good luck and i hope it all yeah. goes well for well, thank you thank you so much i'm excited to get started and i think we have everything we need so thank you <laughs> okay perfect